Hello, welcome to you all and as this is almost New Year and I'm doing this video on the 29th of December, I want to wish you all a very, very happy New Year and a very a year when you can make your dreams come true. And this is actually a video, a little video I want to make about Saturn and Neptune in the square in the heavens and this is all about making uh, making one's dream or dreams coming true. And um, this uh, constellation of the Saturn, which is at the beginning of Sagittarius, and the Neptune, which is at the beginning of um, Pisces, they are going to make a square in the heavens. And that has a certain explanation. And the signs that will feel that the most are the mutable signs, which are Virgo, Pisces, uh, Gemini and Sagittarius. And you might think, hey, but I'm not a Virgo or a Piscean or whatever, but maybe you've got personal planets there. Maybe you've got a Venus, maybe you are a Libra and then you've got a Venus in Virgo, for instance, it's possible. Or maybe you are a Piscean, or no, maybe you are uh, an Aries and you've got your Venus in Pisces um, or your Mercury there. So um, so it will affect, um, well not really affect, but it will, um, it will have a, a, an impact on a lot of people. And um, so I'm going to explain what this square is all about, what the energy is all about. And uh, because of course when it's a square, a square always means tension. And a square always means a kind of a paradox, you could say, certainly with these two uh, planets, Saturn and Neptune. But whenever a paradox is there, there is something that is needed to be resolved. And uh, at the end, it will, whether it is a uh, difficult, challenging or not. So let's have a look at what it means. Saturn is actually the opposite of Neptune. You could say it's the free will versus God's will. That's how I see it, because whenever I see an aspect, let's start maybe with the natal chart. Whenever there is an aspect between Saturn and Neptune in a natal chart, whether it is a conjunction or an opposition or a square or even a trine, it always means that there is possibility to make something a divine something, make that very real and make it so therefore that I said make a dream come true. And um, the very important thing is that it has to do with divinity, it has to do with what needs to be in line with what needs to be in line. And, um, and Saturn is the one that the hard worker that makes it true. And um, so normally these two are really in a paradox and it, is, it has a lot to do with when we talk about astrology, for instance, in general, it has a lot to do with faith and uh, with divinity and, it, and trust and it also has a lot to do with making things true in a real world. I always see astrology like that. Yes, it is something that gives us um, uh, that gives us an explanation and an understanding of what's going on here, but also how it should be, and not with the finger how it should be because I don't really like that. But what is best for us and for all of us? That's the divinity that's in there, and um, you could you could say that's the Neptune. The Neptune is at its best a connection with the divine, a connection with something that is bigger than us and something that is really not tangible but is there. And um, Saturn is all about this world, this realm and making this real. So I really don't like it when people say that astrology is, um, you know, you can't do anything with it. It's just, you know, floating around and it's just uh, something that you can't reach. It, you can because it's all in there, in the, in the connection with the planets, you can see what's happening with you, it's just a reflection, um, so above, so below. And the Saturn is us, the Saturn is us human beings living in this physical world and um, 
it's the free will. We decide which way we go, but actually uh, it is already there. It's a very difficult topic to explain and this is exactly what's happening with the mutable science. It's going to be a, a, not an easy topic, not an easy um, paradox. Paradoxes are there not to be resolved at all. They are there to show us the depths of life and the magic of life and that we can reach out for that magic, whatever it is. And for one, it depends on your personal chart. For one person, it will be very mundane. It will have to do with finances, for example. Having a dream to having better financial situation and making that dream come true. But with effort and with some struggle here and there. And for other people, it will be a relationship or it will be a certain goal that they want to reach out for that has been there for such a long time. And now there is possibility to make it true. That's the square between Saturn and Neptune. Saturn will make it hard to, um, if you are not willing to do any effort, then it will be quite difficult if, if, um, if you have that certain dream, if you have that certain vision and you're not wanting to do any effort, um, then you're going to feel quite unhappy. On the other hand, if you are too realistic, if you are too controlling and if you are not wanting to trust that a dream that you are running away from a dream for instance then again you will feel quite unhappy and this is a challenge that these mutable signs have and it's not for everyone it's for those who have planets between 0 and 10 degrees of um, of a certain of Virgo Pisces um, uh, Gemini and Sagittarius. So it's for those people because they will feel the tension the most. But what it's wanting us to show um, it is that there is this vision, yes, but there is also the possibility to make it true. Um, I've heard once that, or I've read once, that a connection between Saturn and Neptune, and I thought that was a good uh, explanation, that this is all about like for instance a piece of music that a composer hears in the ear, he hears a piece of music but it's not in the real world yet, he, he has to make, he or she has to make, uh, you know, one sheet of paper, has to write it all out in order for the instruments to, or people who are playing an instrument to make it all come true. This is the Saturn and the Neptune, the Neptune is hanging out there, the music is there. Um, but there's also the work that needs to be done and the steps that needs to be done and um, that is the Saturn. So, and if you wonder how you will deal with it as this aspect, you know, this square between Saturn and Neptune, you need to look at your personal chart. And if you don't know anything about astrology, you need to look at yourself. What kind of a person am I? Am I a Saturnial kind of person that will be the controlling person that wants that is very easy for you to make things real, but it's not easy for you to have faith in the future, or it's not easy for you to have faith and trust in the universe um, because you're maybe uh, acting against what is on your path. These people will have to learn to, to become a bit more Neptunian, to become a bit more trustful, to become a bit more... Things go as they should go. Things are all related to a divine intelligence, you could say, or to God, if you believe in God. And we don't always understand that. We don't always see the bigger picture. We are in the here and the now. That's the Saturnial kind of person. If you are more a Neptunian kind of person, and it doesn't matter if you are a Virgo or a Gemini or whatever, you need to see the whole picture of your chart. But the Neptunian kind of person is someone who, who has a lot of inspiration, who has a lot of vision, who has a lot of, who, who loves to dream. And in the dream, it all is perfect. But this is a person that has difficulty with how do I establish this on planet Earth? If this is your challenge, then your remedy or advice should be 
go for uh, the grounding, go for um, the doing, go for the doing the little steps day by day by day and being very realistic about things. So it really depends on um, uh, what, what you are um, more a kind of a Saturnian person or more a kind of a Neptunian person. So it's really interesting how to um, uh, see this aspect unfold. And if you are someone who will have this uh, aspect and you want to know more, just get in touch. And um, wishing you all the best with this aspect. This simply means that a dream can, or maybe more dreams can, uh, made true if you stand with your feet on the ground and if you trust, basically. So that is all about the free will and uh, about your free will of doing and of acting and of doing the things that you think you need to do, but also the trust that what is happening to you is the best thing at the moment that is happening to you. And that is sometimes really, really hard. It's easier said than done, isn't it? If, if a lot of difficult things are happening to you, so having said that, I hope this was uh, interesting for you. Um, I'll be talking a lot about these, this aspect during the year of 2015 in the monthly horoscope. Uh, wishing you a good year and um, see you soon. Bye-bye.